Alrighty, welcome back to the vlog. In this week's video, we're gonna show you everything going on in the new shipping container because we finally finished setting it up. And we're also gonna run through a few issues down here because we've had 43, 44 degree days here on the farm. And we're gonna talk about some of the tactics that we're gonna be using to keep the container cooler and the reason why. So, let's get into the video. Alright, first things we'll do is we'll uh, get inside the container and we'll give you a walkthrough on everything that we've been doing in this new container. It's pretty specky. Alright, the crickets are chirping, that's for sure. Okay, uh, what we'll do is we'll head down this end first. We've got all our adult crickets, so we're not using the old container, our very first one anymore. We're just gonna be having all our crickets in this container for now, and there's a couple reasons. One, because we've got a new split system air con up there, which is gonna save us a lot of money on power. And we also have some new solar panels coming in in around two weeks, so hopefully we'll have a video on that, showing you how it all works. Um, but for now, we've got tub 33, tub 34, tub 35, and 36, as well as 32, all with breeding trays in them and I have to be a little bit quiet here because the crickets don't really like too much noise, even though they're noisy. And this is just one of our tubs here. They're hungry, thirsty all the time. And you can see them all checking out just down there in the breeding soil. All right, so we're still going with the same tub set up here. We've always just found these are big enough you can have anywhere between 5,000 to 10,000 crickets in every tub, so uh, if not even more, because we're talking about we're having a million crickets in here in the future, and that's what the farms do in Finland. And just down here, uh, all the babies, there's a couple adults up in that tub, but these guys will be the teenagers just here. And this is my favorite part of getting another light, but these are all our pinheads just down the bottom here. Look at them all. So this is just it goes to show how quick the population really takes off when you get a few crickets breeding. Okay, so one of the <coughs> Okay, so one of the things we are actually doing down here at Shoebox now is controlling the heat a little bit better in the container for the crickets. Now crickets are actually cold blooded so that, that's the reason why they're so sustainable because they don't use their energy to keep warm like us mammals and they don't have any sweating ability. So that makes them super sustainable because they use all their energy for growing and that's also one of the downfalls about them being cold blooded is because they can't regulate their body temperature with sweat, we actually had a little bit of a heart, like a heart attack one day because it got to 45 degrees and we weren't using our split system aircon up there, we were just seeing how hot the container can be and if that would affect the crickets at all. And I've got some footage now of when I very first walked into the container and saw that the crickets weren't making any noise and they were too hot. And the container was actually at 45 degrees, so I'll show you that footage now. So you can probably see from that video, all the crickets were dead quiet and they're all laying on the breeding soil because it's wet and they're also trying to get onto the water feeders to cool off. And because of this, we actually lost a few of our baby crickets. It got too hot in the container for them. So right now, I'll take you down here. We're running at around 29 degrees. If the camera can see that, if we can focus in. And you know, at any one time, the container can get up to 30 degrees, 32 degrees, but then hopefully by having 29 set on here for the split system, it just gives the container a little bit more consistency. And this is also where we've found the best weather is for the cricks to actually grow in and they're the happiest. So as you can tell right now, they're super loud and they're all out and about really enjoying themselves.
Now, the other thing that we're doing here at Shoe Bugs is we've also gotten rid of, as you remember in the last shipping container, if you haven't seen that already, make sure you go back and check out some of the older videos, is we actually used to have some railing, like this one just down here, and we used to have little boxes on there, and that's where we'd store the pinhead crickets for them to be born and then to grow up to be put into these beer containers. We've just skipped that process altogether because we were double handling everything and we want to make it a little bit more efficient. And so after we take the breeding soils down here from the adults, we're literally just running them straight back up here. And as I showed you earlier in the video, we have a million pit heads all through this bo these boxes down here. I'll grab my phone light so you can see it a little bit better. And it's just incredible. We're finding that we were losing too many crickets in the process and I think it's because they didn't have enough space and they started to eat each other. So, and enough food maybe too. So we've upped the food and we've also upped the space by having them in here. And hopefully we can get a lot more crickets out of each batch. The other really cool thing, uh, my old man actually knocked up Tim. As you know him, he built this little step ladder here. So we are both tall, we're both over six foot six, but we're not quite this tall. And we're just trying to get the most out of our spacing in our container. So we built this little mechanism just here. It's on wheels so you can roll up and down along the containers. But as you can see already up here, I'll show you. These are the latest crickets being born. They'd be two days old and hopefully there'll be more to come. So, and that's the new container. Okay, that's uh, everything for today's video. Hopefully next time a few more of these bins up here will be filled full of crickets and we'll have some more solar panels coming in to bring the energy cost down and make it a little bit better for the environment. Uh, moving forward, we have plans to get more shipping containers in the future, um, but firstly we'll just fill this container and make sure everything's running smoothly and we're just going to keep trying to find new ways, new food to keep growing crickets, crickets faster in Australia. Um, yeah, so thank you once again. If you have any questions or comments or you just want to get in contact, you can do that uh, by sending an email to shoebugs at gmail.com or message us on Instagram or Facebook, we've got it all there. So yeah, thanks once again guys and we'll see you in the next video.